Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne. I decided since I am not very festively dressed this evening that I would put a little festivities in my hair here. And I want to invite all of you this coming Christmas morning. Uh, this will be the fourth year in a row that my daughter and I have gone live while we open our presents. This year we're going to be up in Pennsylvania. My sister will be there, although I don't know if she's going to be part of the video. I will, of course, invite her, but I won't be surprised if she turns that down. Uh, uh, Diesel will be with us, and maybe even her dog, Tank, will join in because they did get Christmas presents, as well as my three cats, uh, Valerie and Cece and your friend, Louis. Um, it'll be recorded, so if you have other plans, which I pray that you do, and you miss the live, you can watch it later. Um, that'll be about 10 o'clock is when we usually go live. Last year I messed it up, but I know what I did wrong, so this year we will definitely be live at 10 o'clock on Christmas morning. Um, this is the third uh, thrift haul video that I'm going to share with you from that epic estate sale that my friend Heidi and I went to. This is the first from the first video that I'll share with you from what I spent $35 on. So I have everything that I'm going to show you now and then I have about another bag and a half of things. Now that video is more than likely now that video will not come out until after I get back from Pennsylvania because um, I, I just don't have the time to film it now. But anyhow, we'll get started on this stuff. Um, and it's mostly Christmas between what I'm going to show you now and later. I tried to break it up a little bit, but the house was filled with Christmas. And um, I did go into to three crawl spaces. Uh, when I was there. And when I say crawl spaces, I don't mean the one that, ones that are under the houses. Uh, it's like, you know, here's the side of the house and there's the roof and it's this little part here, I guess it's under the, the eaves. Uh, one of them I went in with a woman that I met, uh, Victoria, and I remember her name because that's my confirmation name. And we found a whole bunch of stuff under there, primarily Christmas. There was another one across the room that one had mostly just boxes in it and be nice, Louis, and shoes and clothing. I didn't get anything out of there. And then I found another one in, there were two separate upstairs, upstairs to the house. And the second one I found in the second upstairs, excuse me. Oh, so sorry. The stuff has been in the bags and when you take it out, it just stirs up that dust. So that was sneezes going off there. Okay, we'll get started. Uh, whoops, this is a teeny tiny little brass tree and I do have the box for it, but I think I'm gonna be tossing the box. I'm just gonna write down the information about it uh, for when I go to sell this. It is made in Taiwan and it's called a prosperity tree. Uh, it has 32 bells on it. And all I want to do is, you know, just kind of when I go to put it up in the booth, I just want to kind of arrange it a little bit better so that it looks nicer because it's a little bit squashed right now. It's not very heavy, um, although the box does say that it's solid brass, but it's not a very large piece either. And the base just has the, the underneath of the base is not solid like a, a a block of brass. It's just a little thin piece of it. But I thought it was a really cool looking tray. Oh, and I also should tell you that um, since I'm putting this video out on Thursday night and my last day of work is tomorrow, <laughs> I have what I have four more hours to work in ever, forever. So um, I will not have time if there's anything that you see here. You can go ahead and email me about it that, you know, you are interested in purchasing it, but I can tell you that I'm not going to be able to get anything out until after I come back from seeing my sister in Pennsylvania, and that won't be until after the 29th. So I, I just don't have the time for it. Um, I picked up a whole bunch of this white garland 
Now, I may either use this for myself, or I might use this in some kind of crafting. I'm not sure. Um, I am going in my own home for a kind of very neutral um, palette for if I had stayed home this year for Christmas, that's what I was going for. So that's what I will be doing next year. And there's some more here. I don't think this is vintage. In fact, I'm quite certain it's not vintage because I don't think vintage put these kind of packages on back then. And a little bit more. Anyway, we got that. Uh, found a couple of aprons. Now this is vintage. Let me see if it has a date on here. And, oh no, wait a minute. It may not be. It's from Steinmart. I thought it was vintage because of the tag that was on it. That just had a very vintage look to me. But it has a Steinmart tag on it. Oh, here's another tag on the back. Let's see here. Mm. Cotton. Oh, that's all it really says. But there it is. <clears throat> oh, it's a long one. That Well, that would be long for me. Yeah, that comes down to past my knees. It's kind of quilted on the top of it, and that's what the top looks like. Mr. and Mrs. Claus. And then that is what the bottom looks like. I found that one, and here is another one from Steinmart. This one is a little bit plainer with the green top here. And that one also is about the, that same length. And I'm 5'2". And this also came from, yep, this one came from Steinmart. Let's see if this has, it's from C or WC Imports, made in the Philippines. It is linen and polyester. Okay. Careful, Lewis. There's not much room up here right now, bud. I picked up a couple of these uh, parachute material. There's a little Santa, because the last one that I had that I found at that Glen Eyre retirement yard sale, that sold very quickly. And he kind of reminds me of him. But too close to Christmas. I'm not going back to the booth until after I get back. So he's going away for next year. He has a tag on him. He was made in China. But hopefully this little guy will go as quickly as the other one did once he gets up into the booth. Oh, you checking things out, Lewis? Oh, Lewis may have picked a, a favorite this time. And here's another little one of those parachute. He has to be cleaned off. Oh, no, you sir. <laughs> has to be cleaned off a little bit. And this little mouse, he's so cute. This is from Fisher Price. Yep, yeah, Fisher Price. Oh, 1987. You look good for your age, bud. Oh, and his hands come together. Oh, I see. Oh, there we go. He's supposed to be holding that little candy cane. Isn't he cute? So he was never he was never used because he still has his little hanger on him. <gasps> Louis, no, that's you cannot get that kind of mouse. Okay, not that mouse. You see any running around the floor? Well, just chase him out the door, okay? Don't hurt him. I uh, picked up. These were from Roses. I don't know if Roses are all over the country. We have them down here in North Carolina. I picked them up because I liked the... What? Oh, I'm sorry, bud. That scared Lewis to daylights out of them. I like the little um, plastic covers over the lights. I thought they were kind of cool. Let's see if we can find out any info on these. Made in the Republic of China. So they do have some age on them. Uh, however, no date. There was only one package of those that I could find anyway. Uh, I love picking these up. 
This is made in the Philippines, and these do sell for me, these little chairs. I love these little miniature peacock chairs. And there was um, there were one or two more of them, but they were behind, they had uh, sectioned off a large area where you could hold things so you didn't have to worry about anybody taking them. And there were two more of them, but they were behind the, that zone that someone had already claimed them. This one I found, they must not have seen this one, the folks that got, whoever got the other two, as this one I found in a bag, <clears throat> excuse me, in a bag under a table in the kitchen. So they just missed this one. Or I, I bet you this one would have been gone as well. Now this is a really, really cool picture. It's very thin. It is marked Made in China, Potpourri Press. Um, oh my gosh, I can't, uh, I cannot read what that says. There's also a tag inside, but there it is. It's like a gourd um, pitcher. Don't know if it holds water. I have not tested it yet, but I thought that was really cool. So this I'll put away in my fall bin for next year, but he's worth holding on to. And then this poor little Santa, he needs a gentle, gentle bath. And but look at his, I mean, his cheeks are almost on fire. They are so red and rosy. And he must have been holding something because he has a little hole in his hand there. And some of his flocking is worn off, but I don't think that's going to matter. Um... I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to price him because he's just going to go away for right now. Um, made in Hong Kong. So you know that this Santa has got some age to him. I love him. He reminds me of a Santa that I would have when I was a child. <clears throat> These are fantastic and they weigh a ton. It's this set of brass candlesticks. Look at these. They're probably... They're probably 12 inches, I would say. Um, made in the Philippines. Oh, there's a tag on the bottom of this one. Let's see if it says how much they were originally. Oh, gosh, I can't see here. Oh, wait, here we are. $10? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it was only $10 for one of these originally. But I think they're gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. So I had to pick those up. And we have some tacky Christmas, tacky plastic from Christmas with its bird's nest. And I think one of the birds fell off. I think there was another flocked red bird on it. But some people love what they call this tacky plastic. And it's in real, I mean, it's in really good shape. The, the, um, the nest is in really good shape. It's not falling apart. It just needs to be cleaned off. We got that and some candles. Um, let me take this top. Oh, no. It's actually, I don't know. The, the ribbon is still on here, so I'm going to leave it. You really can't see them. It's um, a candle with a candle ring. Sorry for that glare. There we go. That's good. These are made in China. There is a sticker on it. You could barely make it out from Roses. That is down here in North Carolina. And then I found a second one with a little bit different motif on the candle ring. Now this one has age. This is from Made in Hong Kong. This one is. Um, this is from Eckerd's, $2.99. So I wonder if there's a date on here. Let's see. Nope, no date on it. Well, this one we know has, I can't believe the candles. Um, and in being in the crawl space too, I'm surprised that they didn't get melted. But we got those. I found a couple of, these I can't believe stayed as long as they did. Because these were in... Um, a cab, not a cabinet, uh, like a bookshelf. 
the first weekend that I was there and nobody picked them up, which I'm, yay, I'm happy about that. And that is some willow trees. We have this little votive tea light candle holder. This is called Peace on Earth. And then we have This is a trellis ornament from 2013. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, now this does actually have, this one might be a little bit harder to sell because it does have the date on it. So if that, you know, if 2013 meant really meant something to somebody, this would be a great um, gift for them. Look at the, how that sparkles, that trellis sparkles. See, <gasps> that's pretty. If I had realized the date was on there, I still would have gotten it. Because that is going to mean something to somebody. It's going to take a little longer to sell, I think, but I think she's still going to sell. Lewis, what are you doing? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hold on. Be right back. I think Lewis is stuck. Okay. Oh, I'm coming, buddy. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, okay. I'm coming. I'm here, honey. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I know. How did you get this stuck? Oh, baby boy. Oh. You okay? Oh. Silly cat. He has a nail in the wall for pictures, and I guess he thought it was a bug or something. So he jumped up on a hutch, and then he was trying to get the bug, and he got his nail stuck on the on the nail, and he was it hurt him because you could tell. Well, I could tell that that meow got to a certain sound, and I know that's his hurt sound, but he's okay. <laughs> um, found this guy. I saw him. The first weekend that I was there, I was really happy that he was still there. They had a ton of Santas, but I I just decided to get him because I thought he was kind of different. So he's a fisherman Santa. Thought he was kind of cool. How did they have his, yeah, his hands are positioned right. So he's got all of these little sea creatures that he caught in his net. And this is from... This was $38 original, originally, and it's called the Santas by Tina Mitchell, a division of a Mitchell Import Company. Lewis, don't do it again, buddy. Uh, yep. Let's see. Does this have a date? It does not. But I thought that would be kind of a cool gift next year for somebody that has a fisherman. To get something for and then I saved most of the die cuts to show you last now this is not a die cut but I got this um, I forgot now what they call these I got that yellow one and I got the this red oh this one is oops, stuck <laughs> That's what this one is. Let go. There we are. Got our... You are really stuck. There we are. Got this red and green one. This one, I think, has some age to it. Um, actually, this one might, too. This is from Paper Town. Pretty sure Paper Town is not around anymore. I got that red and green one. Now for the die cuts. I thought there were some Easter ones in here. I guess we'll find out, but what I'm looking at now, it looks like they're all Christmas. Uh, this is a single-sided choir boy. Single-sided reindeer. And I didn't see names on any of these. 
nor dates. Well, let's see if we find any now. Here's a single-sided angel. There we go. Oh, that's the old-fashioned Santa face that I like. A Santa, single-sided. There's a Santa in his sleigh, single. Um, again, there, oh wait, is that a, no, okay, I thought that was a, a name, but it's not. This is single, this little snowman. And we have a wreath, single. I think maybe these are newer because they don't have um, manufacturer's names on them. I'm not sure. Oh, and there's a second one. Exactly the same. There's another reindeer. And, excuse me, Lewis, this one hasn't been taken off of its um, thing yet. This one is double-sided, but this one has been oh it's flocked oh cool this one is flocked this one has been oh i didn't realize that oh the bunny's torn well i'll try and fix him up a little no you don't <laughs> um hey okay he can't he can't bite the die cuts <laughs> he bites me oh. um this is silo uh made in the united states we got that one. Now, they did have in one of the bedrooms, uh, they had on the floor, but it wasn't in very good shape. That's why I didn't get it. They had a Merry Christmas one um, that was flocked. And they had a Santa and the reindeers that was flocked as well. But um, they had been sadly like pulled apart, like the Merry Christmas had been ripped apart. And so had the Santa and his reindeer. So... Um, I, I passed on those. Okay, that's everything. This was kind of long. Uh, my favorite. Okay, my favorite, because it reminds me of Santa that I had when I was a child, is going to be this poor little Santa that needs, <laughs> he needs, he needs to be cleaned up. He needs to go to the, um, the, the Santa parlor <laughs> and get groomed. So this is my favorite. Now, when Lewis was up here a little while ago, he was sniffing around and he spent the most time on these brass candlesticks. So I am going to say that Lewis finally gave us a Lewis Likes and it's these brass candlesticks. So don't forget in the comment section down below, let everyone know what your favorite find or finds were from this haul. Um, again, um, if you are able, uh, tune in Christmas morning at 10 a.m. And my daughter and I will be live just opening up our Christmas presents and talking back and forth with you and just having um, hopefully a wonderful Christmas morning. And after that, when I get back from Pennsylvania, I will do what will be be the fourth and most likely the last uh, video from this epic estate sale. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, share it with friends. And if you are not already subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I will consider that my early Christmas present. Um, until Christmas morning, everybody. Take very, very good care of yourselves, and thank you for watching. Bye for now.